chair folding. In the corner of my room to the left is a folded chair. It is said that this chair, it was on the white star line. I don't know if that's true, but now it's mine. I keep my folding chair folded. Then no one sees it, no one sits on it, no one would dare sit on my chair unless invited. My folding chair is a little bit of history, history of a family, history of a ship, a story to be retold when the chair is unfolded. Where did you get the folded chair? When my father died, I think, or when old bits and pieces were re being relocated. Here, take this, but look after it. It's old. How old, I ask? Stuck in a corner, no longer wanted. My brother, he might just throw it away. No, that's a bit of history, I say. So, after Dad died and things returned to normal, whatever that is, the folding chair looked at, dusted, polished a bit, was folded right back up and put away again. This folding chair reminds me of a hundred years ago, dark brown furniture, ladies in crinolines and fancy umbrellas, men in dark suits, moustaches, formal and stiff. Mr Phillips, the auctioneer, gave me my chair's history. On a ship, the white star line, turn of the century, but the seat cover that would be woven, the wood is teak. The man that designed this chair, Mr. Russell of 40 Russell Street, Birmingham, he made nothing but these folding chairs for 40 years for third class passengers on the White Star Line. Mr. Russell had 10 children who helped in his workshop until 1914 when the boys went off to war and the girls went off to get married. I wonder how many returned to sit on a chair.